So today I'm making a vegan wellington. I've started to soften my onions. You see I've got a really nice kind of glossy finish and that's from the natural sugar as they're cooking down nice and slowly. So this is the stage where you would actually add a little bit of sherry vinegar. So it's roughly one tablespoon. I'm just gonna let that cook down and just fold that through. I'm just gonna pop my onions into this bowl. The next thing is, in my hot pan, I'm now gonna add some mushrooms. I'm using chestnut mushrooms that I've already quartered. I haven't added any oil. I want my pan to be really dry because I find with mushrooms, they absorb a lot of the fat if they're not heated through properly. So I'm gonna let my mushrooms cook first, let them get a bit of color, and then I'm gonna add some sunflower oil just to help them cook down. Season them up slightly with some salt and pepper. And then we're also gonna add some garlic to our pan and also some chopped rosemary. It smells so good. So really carefully scrape all of the contents of the pan directly into the bowl. The next thing is our spinach. Now we just wanna wilt our spinach down. It's really important that once you've wilted it, cool it down just over a colander and wring all of that water out once it's cooled down. If we don't do that, our whole mixture will be far too wet and then we'll end up with soggy pastry. We'll then move on to our other flavours. So we have our parsnip into my onion and mushroom mix. So our chestnuts go directly into our bowl. Have some lemon zest, roast chopped hazelnuts. And I've also got some chopped up sage. And then finally, add a bit of seasoning. Now at this stage, I'm ready to add all of this spinach. Just break it up roughly in your hand and then the fun begins. Now you can use a spoon. I actually think it's much easier just to get your hands in there. It really helps to bring it together. Click the link for the full recipe. So I can feel my mix has come together. I'm now ready for the next stage. Here we have our puff pastry. I'm simply gonna use my hands again. And what you need to do is really compact the filling so that it feels really nice and firm and it doesn't feel like it's gonna separate when you cut into the Wellington. That's really important. So I'm just gonna wash my hands. Now what I've got here is just a paste of plain flour and some water. And this is just really gonna help to stick our Wellington together. I tend to use the actual baking parchment as help to roll it over. Lift the side away from you, and then you wanna lift the other side and bring it towards you. And then just bring the sides in, push them down so that no filling can escape from the edges. And then you wanna just flip it over so that your seam is now resting at the bottom. Use a nice sharp knife and just score a crisscross pattern. I absolutely love working with pastry. Creating something like a Wellington, it's just a really beautiful showstopper for your guests. And then the final thing is to just brush some sunflower oil all over the pastry, make sure it's completely covered, and this is gonna help to add a little bit of color to our pastry whilst it's baking. I've preheated the oven at 200 degrees, and this is gonna bake for around 35 to 40 minutes. If I was serving this dish at home, I would love to serve this with some crunchy roast potatoes and some seasonal veg. If you like this recipe, subscribe for more.